Hello and welcome to another Game Creator tutorial. Today we're going to make some maps and it's pretty simple. So let's get started. All right, so in this project, I wanna create a new scene. So I'm gonna go over here to the scene list and I'm gonna click on this plus button. Here we can name it. So I'm just gonna name it scene two. And here you can give it a grid size or you can give it a pixel size. Let's say that you want the scene to be exactly what your resolution of the game is. Say it's 1280 by 720, then it's going to match the grid size. It's pretty convenient. Or you can come here and you can size it to 30 grids and it's going to adjust the pixel size accordingly. I'm just going to hit OK. And now we can begin mapping in this new scene. We can move the mouse wheel to scroll out. We can hold the right click and move it around however we want. But what we really want to do is start to map. So we're going to click on tile. And here you can see all the default tiles. You can see that we have some shadows to work with as well as some default RTP tiles. And so if we wanted to lay this tile, we wouldn't be able to right away because it usually defaults on this object tab. But you can see that we have all these different layers. This layer one is an image layer. This is for images, so we still can't lay tiles here. But now we have a tile layer, layer two through four, and then layer six. And these are all gonna be in order of how they display. So a layer two will be the lowest, layer three will be above it, layer four will be above two and three, and so on. Now you can always right click and actually add a new layer. You can create an image layer or another tiled layer. It's pretty flexible. All right, so now we'll get to mapping. You can see that I can just draw one tile at a time. I can take a rectangle tool. I can also fill. And then I can also delete as much as I want. And we can also, I can right click and select a tile to start deleting. So then I can right click this and it will take me to this on the spot here. I can right click a blank one and it will make me erase it. So that's another easy way to go about it. All right, so real quickly, I'm going to make a map here. All right, so the last thing I wanna do in my mapping is I wanna to go to this layer one, which you can actually right click and rename. So I'm just gonna rename this to parallax. And we're going to go over here to click to select an image. We're going to click on scene and far. And this comes with some images that we can use. I'm going to use the starry sky right here. Now it's going to show above because we're selected on it. But once you select off of it, it's going to show below. And that's just so that we can edit it more completely. Now over here, you can come and unselect edit mode. And then you can get some additional properties to set. So for instance, we could actually scroll this on the X. We can scroll it by, let's go a speed of two. And we can see that it's going to start scrolling. Now, if we want it to loop, we just have to click this X loop and it will be a scrolling parallax. Now this might be a little too fast. So let's go something like this. Now there are a bunch of other settings that you can try as well. You can also go to the tile layers. And if you unclick draw, means that you can start to edit the tile layer. So you can make the tile layer scroll, for instance. Say the tile layer goes, like that. All right, well, let's see what we made actually. So let's go to the object layer and we're going to right click and say set birth point. This is going to be the main player. And we don't really have to worry about how to make this yet. That'll be in another tutorial. And when we go to start, we can see that we are in our map that we just made. And it's moving and scrolling accordingly as I'm moving off the map. Now we haven't added restrictions yet. That'll be another tutorial. I just wanted to get some tiles on the map and look at our first map. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, comments below, Steam Forms will get you figured out. And with that said, I will see you at the next video.